What's up, you guys? Avery here, and ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry for not posting in two days. I usually like to let the Yu-Gi-Oh! retrospectives kind of air out a little bit and get, you know, a little bit of attention before I move on to making another video, but I really do appreciate all of the support as always. We're at almost 830 subscribers. I mean, we've just been exploding that power level. So make sure you smash every little crap out of the boo-boo stain on that like button so we can get to 900, eventually 1,000 subscribers. Normally, I would swap out the audio on my webcam to my phone so that you have better quality. Unfortunately, uh, my phone's busted, <laughs> so I can't record the audio. I'm going to have to use my shitty webcam. I should have it fixed by tomorrow, though. Don't worry your pretty little face about that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something I've been holding on to for God knows how the fuck long. This is Unchained U-Bell. I don't ever recall showing this off on the channel, and I wanted to throw this out there because as a concept and with the release of Power of the Elements, and with the release of like Neos Kluger even earlier than that, I wanted to revisit Ubel because Ubel has been such a cool concept for years, and I feel like it just sort of just never really got there. Like it was just short of being really good. So for those of you who don't know, Ubel's effect is that this card cannot be destroyed by battle. You take no battle damage from battles involving this card, and before damage calculation, when this face-up attack position card is attacked by an opponent's monster, inflict damage your opponent equal to that monster's attack. So instead of you taking the damage, your opponent takes the damage. Now during your end phase, you have to tribute one other monster or destroy this card. When this card is destroyed, except by its own effect, its owner can special summon a U-Bell Terra Incarnate from your hand of a grave. So, typically, you'll pop this with, like, another effect. So, like, you'll drop out U-Bell, then use, like, Torrential to pop it by that effect, then go for Terra Incarnate, and then when Terra Incarnate, I think, what, gets popped by a card effect, yeah, when it leaves the field, you can summon an Ultimate Nightmare. Ultimate Nightmare has to, of course, be summoned by Terra Incarnate. You take no battle damage from battles involving it. It can't be destroyed by battle. At the end of the damage step, if it battled a monster, your opponent takes damage equal to the equal to that monster's attack and then it destroys the monster so even though it has zero you're never going to take any damage the opponent will take damage equal to their attack and then you just pop the monster so no side deck here because obviously i don't really have any sort of side deck plan i want to just throw this out of the community and kind of get some feels like even if it's just like a casual deck or just like something you can cheese people with like you throw in maybe a brave engine or something i feel like it'd be a lot of fun like i've always loved you bill the card art is badass and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and dive on into it. So this is a Unchained build. So we're playing one Dark Spirit of Banishment, one Dark Spirit of Malice, three copies of Keeper of Dragon Magic, two Abominable Unchained Snow. This card's fucking huge. Uh, one Unchained Soul of Disaster, three copies of Arua, two Rakia, two Sarama, three Ubel, two of the Terra Incarnate, two of the Ultimate Nightmare. I never did say what Terra Incarnate does. Um, basically, same as Ultimate Nightmare can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, your opponent takes any damage from uh, attacks involving it. Uh, when it's attacked by an opponent's monster, the opponent takes damage equal to that monster's attack, and then during the end phase, it pops all of the monsters on the field. So it's kind of like a Zeus, but just for monsters. And then, like I said, two copies of Ultimate Nightmare. Then we're playing three Abominations Prison, one Dark Hole, because you want cards that can pop your own monster so you can get you Bell's effect, three Fusion Deployment, three Supply Squad. You know, you have a monster that's destroyed by power by card effect, you get to draw cards, not once per turn, so you get multiple copies out, you're drawing multiple cards. Two copies of Abominable Chamber of the Unchained, two Call of the Haunted, two Escape of the Unchained, and then two Torrential Tribute, again for the same concept as Dark Hole. Extra deck, we are playing the Neos Kluger, one Baba Barber, one Borogar Dragon, two copies of Unicorn, one Topologic Bomber Dragon, one Trisbania, one Zero Boros, uh, two copies of Unchained Abomination, two copies of the Soul of Anguish, and then the three copies of the Unchained Soul of Rage. And yeah, I mean, it's... It's a pretty dope deck. I'm not saying that this is going to be competitive or super good or anything. Um, it's just something I wanted to throw out there to the community because, you know, I did want to do a discussion video, you know, like I could, but it's also like, I, it, this format's like really stale. You know, everybody knows what the top decks are. There's nothing really going on with Master Shits right now, although I do think it would be cool to see Ubel in the game. I think Ubel is in the game, actually, but like I've said before, I refuse to play that shit because... Master Duel is just a pile of booty booty butt cheeks. So, guys, I will have uh, hopefully another discussion up by this time tomorrow, that being uh, the 17th, um, or maybe like another Yu-Gi-Oh! story. We haven't really talked about any sort of old Yu-Gi-Oh! stories in a while, just because of the fact that we've been busy focusing on the meta and playtesting like crazy. Uh, but because of the fact I don't really do deck profiles too often, I thought I'd throw out a little fun one for y'all, just as a little short video and show off something that is cheesy as hell, 
But damn it, it's so cool when it works. <laughs> so guys, please, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how we can improve this deck. Maybe we'll make it like a little project on the channel. Project you bell. I always love this card, and I wish it would get some more love and support. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.